The Comet 1 to Pio Ponsbrooks has approached Earth again after 71 years. Its bright flashes are explained by cryovolcanoes on the surface. The comet will pass at its closest distance to Earth on April 21st, but this does not mean that it will be at its maximum brightness for observation during this period, as it is precisely at this moment that it approaches the Sun. The best time to observe the comet is from late March to early April. If you live in the United States, Canada, or Mexico, mark April 8 on your calendar, as the comet may appear in the daytime sky during a total solar eclipse. Experienced observers can use binoculars for better viewing. However, caution is advised. Never attempt to do so if you lack experience. Directing binoculars at the sun during an eclipse when it reappears from behind the lunar disk can cause serious eye damage or even irreversible blindness. Comet 1 to Pio Ponsbrooks is a periodic comet. It was first discovered by the French astronomer Jean-Louis Pons in July 1812 and then rediscovered by the British astrophysicist Robert Brooks 71 years later in 1883. As scientists say, this year, we have recorded more than three bright flashes of the comet. The Kuban State University Observatory analyzed the brightness flashes of the comet and found a direct correlation with solar flares. It appears that the recent flashes of comet 1 to P. Ponsbrooks fit into the hypothesis of the impact of solar flares on the surface of comet nuclei, as described in the works of the Soviet scientist Leonid Shulman. And each powerful flare on the sun triggers the shedding of the surface layer, resulting in an increase in the comet's brightness by several magnitudes. In the media, 1 to Pio Ponsbrooks is often referred to as the devilish comet. But don't worry, the comet does not bring another apocalypse or an evil message from space. On July 20, 2023, Elit Thomas, an astronomer from the Harsan Observatory in Hungary, noticed that the comet known as 1 to Pio Ponsbrooks had become significantly brighter. Just the day before, its magnitude was 16. 6, and Ellick estimated its brightness to be 11.6. That's 100 times brighter. The comet experienced an outburst, a sudden unexpected release of dust and gas, which caused its significant increase in brightness. After the outburst, one to peel Ponsbrooks developed an unusual tail in the form of horns. The comet's new appearance even led people to compare it to the iconic Millennium Falcon from the Star Wars movie.